Welcome. We're going to make some cold brew. I'm your host, Chef Soakin' Scott. A couple of you, one of you had asked how to make cold brew coffee. I'm going to tell you in two minutes or less. First off, I use this coffee cold brew thing called OXO Good Grips. It's about $49 on Amazon. Love it. Great. I'll tell you about the features in just a second. You're going to need water. You're going to need your beans, whole beans. You've got to grind your own beans. Not to say I, I won't use ground, but I'm told you got to ground your own beans. For this episode, we're doing beneficial beans. These are the beans that I got in Arizona. I smelled them. They smell like a six, but we're going to see what happens. And for a good cause, something to do with autism. Secondly, I have a coffee grinder, nothing fancy. Um, you can get one of these for probably 10, 15 bucks if you're going to grind your own beans. First step, you need a cup and a half of beans. What that translates to into grinds, I don't know. I know for my coffee maker, it's three pours. So I have to do this. Three times. Okay, you want to grind it just enough where all the beans are cut up, but not too coarse. Dump it in. I've already dumped my other two in. So I have my cup and a half of beans ground up. Second thing, you need 40 ounces of water. I've done tap water. This one is Brita filtered. Just for the video, I'm going in. Keep it, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. 20 more ounces. This is going to yield about 36 ounces of coffee. All right, you're going to lose four ounces. A couple questions you might be asking. I might add, there's a feature here. Come in close. These holes here, you can put it on. I don't think it makes a huge difference, but what it does is it sprinkles like summer raindrops on those beans. All right, so that's just one little feature. I'm sure it does something to it. I don't know. So there's our 40 ounces of water. Again, $49 for this. You're gonna let it, and the technical term is bloom. You're gonna let it bloom for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you're good for a few stirs. I put it usually at 6.20 right now, 6.20 p.m. At 6.20 in the morning, 12 hours, that's when it's good to go. If you wanna go for 24 hours, you're gonna have a concentrate, which means you can water it down. That means you're gonna get more bang for your buck but I just do 12 hours. I set it at like six, in the, six at night, and then six in the morning, we're good to go and add ice. Again, you stir periodically. You're gonna see the consistency get a little thinner as time goes on, as the water condenses with the beans. Last thing, with the OXO grips, you can stay there. What, co what it comes with, and again, I'm not making any money off of this, it has this little beaker flask, which is not that exciting. However, it does have a sealant cup. So in the morning, I wake up, if you want to know, I just hit this down. What this does is there's a filter underneath here about this big, and you hit this down and it filters out. You can put it in the, the fridge for as long as you want, and you're good to go. It has these little filters here. Now here's the thing, and I'll end with this. You don't need to get this. You could get a big jug and let it sit in the, the water. But the problem is the straining process. If you take a strainer, like a spaghetti strainer, and then pour this out, you're gonna lose a ton of coffee. It's gonna get caught in the, in the strainer, so you're gonna lose a lot of liquid. So my guess, not don't quote me on this, 40 ounces of water, if you were gonna do this in a jug, you're gonna lose, I don't know, maybe a, a quarter of it, who knows. So that's it, you have this contraption, 40 ounces of water, a cup and a half of beans, grind them up. I prefer dark roast, as you know. Light roast has more caffeine, but it's bitter. Don't like bitter, garbage, trash. Any questions, let me know. And that's the review.